guys, what's up? It's Maddie. We're gonna have a really fun video topic for you guys because college is ending. If you can't tell, I'm very excited that summer is here, finally. I was thinking about college the other day and I realized, wow, when I was a freshman or just an incoming like graduating senior in high school, I had so many misconceptions about college and what it was and what it was gonna be like and then I got into my freshman year and I was like <laughs> wow very different from what is portrayed in movies and television shows and all of that and so we're gonna talk about it <laughs> so the first misconception is that you're gonna move in and you're gonna have the cutest little dorm room ever and you and your roommate are just gonna decorate it to the nines and it's gonna look beautiful let me tell you, that is probably 100% not going to happen. Dorm rooms are always ugly, no matter how cute you try to style it. They are cinder block walls, <laughs> just prison. Like, you think of Pitch Perfect, you know how big those rooms are and how cute and decorative? Like, no! That's not a thing, and I got so mad and offended. <laughs> it personally offended me when I got into college and I realized just how ugly all of my dorm rooms were gonna be. But that's okay because everyone's is ugly, nobody's looks cute, you're not alone. So no matter how much money you spend on decorating it, it's still not gonna look cute. I'm just saying. And to go along with this, there is also a big misconception that you and whoever your random freshman year roommate are, you're gonna become best friends and it's just gonna be a perfect fairy tale ending. And let me just tell you, over 75% of the people I know now hated their freshman roommate or didn't get along or just never talked to them again. I feel like you feel a lot of pressure to love the person you live with and to get along with them and to go do everything together because they're your roommate when really you meet the people who you're gonna connect with majority of the time in your major or in your clubs and organizations because that's who you have similarities to and that's who you can connect with your roommate whether you love them or you hate them they're just your roommate so don't let that make or break your semester and also if you do end up loving your roommate that's great <laughs> i loved my freshman year roommate but i was definitely in the minority <laughs> so another thing you know how in all the tv shows Everyone's always wearing a cute little skirt to class or a nice sweater, very matchy-matchy. They got the cute little heeled booties on. In reality, you go to class and 50% of the people are in sweatpants or their pajamas. I kid you not. Or they're in activewear because they're about to go to the gym after. <laughs> or they're lying about pretending to go to the gym after, but you know, no one needs to know that. But my point is, nobody looks cute for class and you do not have to either. Unless you want to. You'll stick out, but that's okay because, you know, fashion is worth it. <laughs> okay, this is something I really thought when I came to college, especially going to college in the South. I thought that Greek life would rule the school. Like, if I wasn't involved, I was gonna be a loser and everyone would think I was crazy, psycho, Norman Bates-ish. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought I was gonna be a super big outcast because I wasn't in Greek life. Freshman year, I'm not gonna lie, it plays a really big part in a lot of schools just because people are trying to figure out where they belong and who they're friends with, blah blah blah. But let me tell you, it is a very small minority of the people who are actually encompassing your campus. <laughs> Most of the people I knew who were in Greek life when they started dropped by sophomore year. It just wasn't a big thing, and if you weren't in it, it didn't matter because you could still go to all the frat parties. So don't feel pressured to be in Greek life if you really don't want to or you can't afford it. Like me. Because that stuff is hella expensive and ain't nobody got time for that when you're broke. Okay, so for all of you transfer students wanting to come in after freshman year, let's say you deferred a year or you just didn't get into your dream school the first semester, let me just tell you, 
most of your credits will not transfer to your new school. I am incredibly sorry about this. I wish it wasn't so. And in all the books and the movies, they make it seem like such a piece of cake, like, oh, I'm gonna go follow my boyfriend across the country and I'm just gonna quickly transfer into his school or whatever it is. No! Chances are all of the classes you took freshman year, like, 50% will transfer or some really small number like that and it's a pain in the butt. Be prepared for a fight when you, if you are a transfer student, especially if you're out of state transferring in. Shake my head. Also, besides football in the south or north, really anywhere you are, you don't really hear about sporting events on campus. You know how in high school you would go to all the basketball games and you'd go to cheerleading competitions and swim teams to cheer on your friends and blah blah blah? Well in college, number one, you don't really hear about it and number two, if you do go, you're really only going for the free t-shirt and then you're leaving. <laughs> This was one I 100% thought would happen to me. I thought I would go into my 300 person lecture class, slide into my seat one day, and look over and just, oh, there's my future husband. And we would talk and chat about, you know, our notes. And I would just like, we would flirt casually back and forth. And then we'd end up married at the end of the year. <laughs> like, no. Let me tell you, you're not going to meet your future husband in a lecture class. You're probably not going to meet him in any of your classes, unless it's your major class. <laughs> you're going to meet them at parties, you're going to meet them at social events with your friends, or you're going to meet them doing anything besides going to class. Because another misconception, you actually have to study to pass college, okay? It's not super easy, it's not late nights partying and then going to class the next day and acing your final exam. Like, no! You're paying for that class. If you're in class, you're studying hard because otherwise, chances are you will fail. Very sorry to be the one to spill all of these misconceptions because the world puts college in the perfect little bubble, but really it's just like a stress ball just waiting to happen. Comment down below if you're a college student and you can relate to these because I feel you. I had all of these misconceptions before I went, so this is from personal experience. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.